So a couple days ago, I posted a video saying Edlitz sucks. As you can tell by the title, it says maybe Edlitz doesn't suck. I owe an apology to every single Edlitz player in the planet. I'd like to apologize that your deck still absolutely sucks, baby! Pendulum's still the best deck! Let's go! But if you want to play a non-sucky version of your deck, my boy Sean Ping, UDS champion, has created an amazing Edlitz deck that turbos out Celine. That's right. Turbo is out Celine and Demian. I will never look at a deck unless there's at least some form of pendulum card. Uh, Celine is not a link. Celine's a pendulum card. I don't care what anyone says. So if you're ready for this video, for the greatest Eldritch deck ever made in the history of mankind, smash the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, because at 30,000 subscribers, we're going to be releasing an Odd Eyes video. So if you want to see that, if you want to see beautiful Eldritch at in its finest, then what are we waiting for? Let's go, baby! I've openly said Elich sucks ass, but my boy Shun Ping, the Yu Gi Oh champion, is here to prove otherwise. Shun Ping, say hi to the Pendulum family. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? literally blew my mind i didn't know elich could do this type of stuff <laughs> so without further ado guys we're gonna go straight into it make sure to smash the subscribe button and let's go you guys are gonna see mm -hmm. this uh so sean ping will be commentating because i don't know anything about this deck but before we do get into commentating i noticed one thing about the hand ghost reaper why ghost reaper so last weekend as we know like uh rock had a lot of like very high percentage i think like 18 out of 32 right in the lcs yeah correct so it's like i want to have something to stop rock yeah while well, i was playing rockets against the rock the typical play i usually do is abomination on silver take away one extra deck usually be grand knight then there's semi phase abomination silver again to take away fiber that's your two starters so i was like so cherries kind of just do the same thing here right for once maybe like let me let me test it out how how effective it will be yeah, I'm saying you miss that's your. Why, yeah, that's why it's in the deck. Looks like you miss your rocket cards, eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, without further ado. My choice, in my opinion, it just uh, the deck in general was a little bit off the format. Yeah. Because I was anticipating more uh, outlet and bulk. Yeah. Oh. The, the weekend before. Yeah. Yeah. But it turns out there's still a lot of rocks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess we can just start. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so obviously pot for six, draw two. <laughs> this is the fun part now. <laughs> so I played the I played the Lice Horn variant. Wow, yeah. look at that. Yeah, mathematically. What the hell? So there's a, a single charge will mill me seven cards, because charge for three, rate them for four. Right. Uh so and I have about 17 targets in the back that's like a plus one. There's like three lord. Uh, three, no, three lore, seven elixir, seven golden man. That's 17. So, the mathematically ratio wise, 17 to 40 is about to like 2.9 to 7. Yeah. So, I'm expecting a single charge plus three. Yeah. Happen. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Especially actually, with the. Like, that's actually 50%. I think a plus four here. Yeah, and that's actually near 50% because you're not including as well if you hard draw the extravagance as well because, I don't yeah. know, it might be a little different if you draw them, but... Mm -hmm. It will be a little bit different. So mm -hmm. the turn one, I just plus hard on the turn yeah. and uh, set everything. Like, the back, my back would just four of every LA trap. Yeah. And one thing for everyone to know, so everyone who watches this is obviously Pendulum player. So one mm -hmm. thing about Pendulum and this, yeah, maybe he doesn't have 10 negates, but he does have three interruptions here, even more, four or five interruptions because of the hand traps. And yeah. it's not just that. It's five interruptions now, but every single turn, this deck just gets better. So, yeah. and, and it's, he's, not, he's not playing normal Eldritch here. You guys are going to see the next turn. I was playing a Lucky Buster Eldritch. <laughs> so you, this that, is where the fun play here. Yeah. All right, go, go back a little bit. So, this is a, a fun play. My opponent goes Eldred, pay eight. I was like, all right, so it's a mirror match. My cheers are dead. Yeah. So I have the Ash. So I, so I Ash the Eldred. Yeah. He goes, call by on the Ash. I was like, usually you don't call by, because uh, the outland could just be a bait, could just be anything. Yeah. Uh, so, but he did. That means he needs this outland to resolve. What I responded with was, I go, so outland channeling one, ash channeling two, call by channeling three. I go channeling four, activate her quill, <laughs> channeling yeah. five, scarlet summon uh, lord. 
a resolution lower someone itself that Hakaro because Hakaro doesn't say any uh, my Poland grave, it says any card. Exactly, what a play. I banished his yeah. ash in my own grave, yeah. though, which he targeted <laughs> for the call by. So the call by result was nothing, and the uh, LA got negated. You guys hear that? What a play. That's an amazing play. Yeah, that's what happened at the beginning of the turn true. You know, imagine your opponent looking at that. He must be so shook. He was like, oh my god. He's probably so upset that that he happened. Actually, he actually, spoilers, he actually had a second call by, but he did, he decided to not use it. So I <laughs> think that's probably either a miss, it's probably a misplay on him over there. That, like, I don't quite understand. If you already called by the first one, you probably should call by the second. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Or maybe he was super scared of, of the one outlet he you probably had. Trying to, he probably trying to, like, be greedy and call the Lord. Yeah, but probably. At, like, at that point, I think he just, he, he needs his own call to resolve. Yeah, yeah. So he just got set everything past, and uh, very luckily, my Raiders survived. Yeah. Oh, there's one miss, one play I forgot to mention. So yep. if you pay attention to the replay at turn one, yep. after I charge, I actually use one of the elixir first to set the counter trap before oh, I go. Oh, Raiders. that's good. In case you mill, right? Yeah, in case yeah. I mill, because I only have one. Yeah, plays that's like that are plays like, like that are important. One. Like, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's for people, like, when I used to play Orcus Sky Striker, I know for Pendulums, you know, I'm telling you, Shumpy, you could, you can misplay all you want for Pendulums, you'll be okay. Uh, but mm -hmm. for decks that are, like, control-based, you have to yeah. be very smart with those plays. Like, these mm -hmm. are big brain plays you're doing. The Huquero play, not many people would have seen. What if Raiden milled the Golden Land? The little plays yeah. like that are important. There's like, like even the end phase, because both end phase, you have your Raiden mill, and you have your trap banish to set. Like... For majority of the time, I have to think which one I, I have to use first or second. Yeah. Because yeah. the sequence matters. Like, do you want to have a higher chance to mill your traps? Or do you want to have a higher chance to mill the Scarlet? Yeah. Or do you want to just not mill anything but guarantee your cards in case it mill all the copies left? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what happened turn two. And uh, I go end phase. Uh, I go end phase some of my Conquistor. Yeah. Pop the land. Because yeah. I don't, I, I don't have cost in the main, so I eventually I have to get rid of the, the outland. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was like, if I'm gonna do it, might as well just do it now. Because I have to activate the conquistor to push for more cards. Yeah. And uh, he go outland trigger mill one, uh, mill the mill doggy and grab the red. Like this looks like a misplay, but honestly, like. The chance of he doesn't have red is like kind of low. Even if he does, I still have the counter trap. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's having right. more red only matters for the turn after, which I think I could just push this turn. Yeah. He that's uses... why I just did the play. Yeah, yeah. like I said, he all stop yeah. to activate red. I just counter trap negate it. Uh huh. At that at this point, he has no he has no lord in the graveyard. Yeah. And he has one card left in hand. So the only way for him to summon Lord is to use white, and the last card he had is will be Lord. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do he didn't do it last turn. That means it was not. Yeah. But at that point, I just start pushing. I, I deal some damage because I know I couldn't kill him. It's yeah. too risky to play into three backers because the worst case he's gonna counter trap to. Uh, he, he's gonna summon the trap monster to block damage. Mm -hmm. But main phase two, I did some link plays. I go, yeah. Uh, let me link away my Lord because I want to reset my Lord. No more that a chair is because he's dead. I Phoenix hit the call by which I just started wondering why he didn't use it last turn. Yeah. <laughs> now after after that, I link Phoenix and Raya into Fiber. Fiber summoned the third cherries. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, Hakura is a level five monster. <laughs> so I got super summon here. <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. I got Synchro summon here, equip the Phoenix. Suddenly I have one more negate. Yeah, like, and you didn't even have the graveyard? Phoenix was smart, yeah, man. The has everything. Yeah. So if he didn't <laughs> call by the Lord, I will have the exact same number of negates to to generate because I have so many traps in the graveyard. Yeah. Even if he called by the Lord, I'm just gonna use red anyway. Yeah. So suddenly at the end phase, you will see just so many things being activated. Uh, the reason I grab another Lord for the Outland instead of grab another trap is in case. He had a something, he top deck going after. Well, he did something and uh, pre preventing me summon Lord. Yeah. Then he go normal, special, normal Raiden, I Vader it. Uh, special Lord with Scarlet. The Lord attacked the Fiber. I wish I had the Wonder Magician here, huh? 
Then he's trying to confuse for Pop, and yeah. I just, and he summon, just he scooped. some things, and Pop is confused for that game. Yeah, that was amazing. That's, so this is game two. He had a weak start. So also, I, 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 I remember I remember watching this. Uh, I was thinking to myself, when he set two, I thought to myself, mm -hmm. he's playing Eldritch, so you would expect more. Maybe he was scared to evenly match, but then... Uh, he had solemn judgment here, but what I forgot you also have a lot of hand traps So when for people watching this even if you're playing mm -hmm. pendulum if your opponent says two and he's playing a lich There's a high chance for one you might die to an evenly so you might be scared, but most likely it's just hand traps in hand So yeah, you, you should can, expect hand traps he here. He can do things. He will still do it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do it just because he uh he, he can. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, tricky. yeah. But you also you, you have to kind of like expect hand traps, you know. Yeah. Like if it's like, like that. I, I was expecting like two hand traps. So I go pod, expecting it to negate it. That charge, charge mail is a cost. Doesn't matter. Got the raiden. Oh, uh, unfortunately, not like last time. Unfortunately, I didn't put. I also side out like a couple of things, so that, so that, so I have a lower expectation to mill thing. Then my raiden mill, mill yeah. lord, which is good enough at this point. Yeah. At least Someone something. He to send out Quero, and yeah. he crawl it. Doesn't matter, man. Quero's in the bigger. So I go Raiden attack. Uh, he blocked it with the 18 defense. I just set two. I set one and phase. Set another one. Raiden yeah. didn't mean anything either, but it, it's good enough. I still yeah. have a way to summon Lord and an interruption with two action hand. Yeah, yeah. He got some M Duck, which is the the only other player play Outlet who has M Duck in the deck. Yeah, I noticed you had it as well. He thought myself. So oh. I go in the main phase, try to banish his Aquarius, cut, cut down his line, his resource. He go Ash the Red. Yeah. So yeah, it's fine. I have two Ash as well. My red didn't get mill and summon Lord. He didn't curl again, so I just attacking, punching. He Red, I Ash, and I set a counter trap. That's just game. Two more traps. That's game. Oh, uh, my red also plus two at the end. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, man, that deck's crazy, man. Like, the one thing is this. Elitch is a really slow deck, but... The way you played this, so you're not only getting the advantage of the slow of the Eldritch, but yeah. bro, you're playing like a combo version of it. That's very important. Like, you're not just well, playing I, such a one-dimensional deck. I don't really call it as a combo version. It just I like to play. See, see, we know Eldritch is a slow deck. That's yeah. why I don't play the Lights One engine to make it faster. Yeah. Like I play Striker before. A typical, typical way to die is you got OTK or you. Didn't have enough interruptions to yeah exactly to, to start snowballing that's exactly that, yeah that gets super yeah. terrible against Henry yeah <laughs> you, just, you just don't have turns to grind things yeah yeah to generate things but with Lightstorm, like I said a single charge is expecting to plus three and at that point you have like an even or more resource than your opponent if it resolves yeah exactly it's important for people to understand the reasoning behind pro players and why playing and their thought logic but uh, anything you want to say about the deck list. Uh, yeah, so for the deck list, like everyone saw, I have cherries. So my cherry target ratio were two Makaba, two Grand Knight, uh, one Boral Savage, and one Fiber. However, the Fiber was there before the cherries because it was like I want to perform a very specific combo. Mm -hmm. It was Fiber into. So I have Raiden first, that's a tuner. So yeah. I go Raiden and maybe a Tribe Monster or Lord into Fiber. Fiber summon Valor, which I actually have a copy in the deck. Yeah. Fiber Valor into Selene. Selene grab more than three counters. I feel like everyone on this channel know what Selene does, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, since the deck has like pot and charge, and uh, also Selene counts everyone, uh, it could be like Outland. So it's not yeah. hard to grab three counters. Oh, yeah, easily, Selene. easily. Especially because you're Selene, doing this combo yeah, every Selene turn, too. Will Selene will bring back the Valor, I summon a Fiber, then Selene and Valor into Bomber Dragon. So what That's does amazing. Bomber Dragon mean in Outlet? Means you can suddenly turn all your Trap Monster into Interruptions without a Lord. Yeah. Because all your Trap Monster is Dark Hole now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, that's kind of sort of have a feeling of uh, Orcus using Bomber Control in melee games to, to yeah. do things. Yeah. That's the similar idea. Since the requirement for the main deck is so low, like, I, if I cut my, I, if these cards are not in my extra deck, I have almost the exact same lineup for the main anyway. Yeah. The only combo piece I play was Valor, which is the, the mistake I made was I think I should play more Valors if I'm just one. <laughs> yeah, because you drew it like you did in the combo. You had the bomber if you wanted last time. Tiger can steal someone from hand, but I just don't want to. Yeah, it's an egg. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a Valor for nothing. And, uh, yeah, so that was part of the idea for, mm -hmm. uh, for for the 
fiber saline bomber play. Like later, people might replace bomber with access code docker. That's what people playing OCG right now. Yeah, yeah, and that card, yeah. that card's ridiculous. Holy crap! That, yeah, that card's crazy. Yeah. So, so it is like couple. Uh, so that lineup for for a specific combo, couple cherry targets, and the rest is like the generic uh, LH extra, like two Gusta, one Sky Palace, uh, Sky Palace, yeah, one uh, Jagna, one Lady. And uh, one M Duck. I play M Duck over Link Spider. Why? I think that's an obvious thing, right? Because oh. M Duck has a fat Link Spider doesn't. Oh, right, right, right. For plays M-Duck, after. M Duck yeah. is a catastrophe for whatever it points to and points yeah. up. Right, right. For a card, right. a normal monster besides a token. So the only difference between this and Link Spider is if your opponent lost for you, you can't link the token into Link Spider, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There yeah. could be like and, place uh, maybe if you if yeah, you played Nibiru, but, yeah. Oh, uh, why Book of Moon? I was gonna ask you. What Book of Moon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fun fact: I was using Book of Moon like as an imperm majority of the tournament. Why well, don't play imperm? Don't judge me on that. I build the deck three AM in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> However, Book is a card I really want to try. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's like working both offensively and defensively. Right, yeah. Offensively, yeah. if you set it as a trap, uh, your opponent normal on my rock, cool, book it. Have yeah. to wait to summon a second rock. Yeah. There's all a rock on the field. Yeah. Right? That, that, that hurts. Yeah. That's how you better than imperm here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and you might be able to even lock the zone because the monster is based on the, on the board that turn. Yeah. And uh, defensive. Defensively, uh, like going second, it's the same as just like you fade out on the game. That's so right, same. exactly. Yeah. The most common thing happens. Awesome. And uh, there's a very specific play you can do in the Eld Invoke deck, or just Invoke in general. Like imagine you normal Astro, your opponent goes Impermal Veiler. Ash doesn't work here. So if your if, if opponent goes specifically Astro, Ash, no, Impermal Veiler, you can change your Pokemon, and book your Astro. So your Astro is still resolved. That's sick. So you, you kind of just trade the Pokemon for a one of the hand trap, which is absolutely acceptable. Also, yeah. if your opponent Vader it, there's still there's just a lie already for the Makala. Yeah. If they if they go Imperm, that's still that's still fine majority of the time because uh, the Elder Invoke guy wanna fuse the Lord in hand turn one to turn on the Lord, so you're gonna have you're gonna expect a good light fusion target in your hand anyway. Yeah, well, gotta say, man, this is definitely amazing. Uh, I've told the world Ellis sucks, but honestly, one little by little, you're making me change my mind, bro. This is <laughs> amazing. That's idea I want to try for the PPG because I don't really care about the event. So that's why you see a lot of like interesting, weird things. Oh, I love it, man, because interesting stuff like that's how you win. Your opponent will never see it coming. Any last, <laughs> uh, any last things you want to say or any shoutouts? Uh, well... I, well, technically, I build a deck for myself randomly. <laughs> <laughs> but still, shout out to like all my friends, uh, everyone supporting me, everyone online, everyone for real life. Uh, shout out to my team, TCS, and uh, that's it. Awesome. Well, Sean Ping, thank you. Uh, there's not a lot of people. In the, there's not a lot of people out there in the world that I think have the same Yu-Gi-Oh brain as I do. But you are mm-hmm. definitely up there, if not even smarter. So thank <laughs> you for coming on, and I look thank forward. To, I look forward to having you on uh, soon. Later, mm-hmm. bro. All right. Yep. Yeah.